In this video, we will look at how we can set up revenue problems. In part 2 of this video, we'll go back and solve the problems we set up. To organize the information that we are given in the problem, we're going to set them up in a table. The equation to calculate revenue is we take the number of items purchased times the price per item will equal the total number of revenue equal in the purchase. The way we'll solve revenue equations is we will divide by what we want. Let's take a look at some examples where we set up a revenue table, which will end up giving us a simultaneous product that we can solve. In this problem, we have a group of college students making a purchase. We know we can take the number times the price per item, and that will equal the total revenue. The students bought a couch for $80. We don't know the number of students, and we don't know the price each student paid, but what we do know is $80 was the total amount exchanged in the purchase. We're also told that 5 failed to pay. If 5 failed to pay, the number has been reduced by 5. When 5 failed to pay, each had to pay $8 more. This means the price per person has gone up, or plus $8. The revenue on the couch, the cost of the couch, was still $80. You will notice that each row becomes an equation in the simultaneous product. Number times price equals 80, and number minus 5 times price plus 8 equals 80 as well. In order to start solving these equations, we will divide by the factor we're looking for. The question's asking how many students. We're looking for the number. So we'll divide both equations by n, giving us p equals 80 over n, and divide the other equation by the n factor, or n minus 5, to get p plus 8 equals 80 over n minus 5. We are now ready to make our substitution, replacing the p with 80 over n. We get 80 over n plus 8 equals 80 over n minus 5. This equation is now set up and ready for us to solve for n. In part 2 of this video, we'll come back and actually solve this equation to find the number of students. For now, let's take a look at another example. A merchant has bought several pieces of silk for $70. The number times the price per item is equal to the total revenue. We don't know the number of pieces, and we don't know the price per item. But we do know the total revenue is $70. He sold all but 2. This means the number has decreased by 2. At a profit of $4 per piece. This means the price has increased by $4. His total profit is 18. This 18 is in addition to the expense of 70, so his total revenue that he brought in was 88. Putting these together, we see the simultaneous product, number times price equals 70, and number minus 2 times price plus 4 equals 88. Now we're ready to start solving by looking for how many pieces and dividing by that factor the number we're looking for. This gives us price equals 70 over n, and dividing by n minus 2, gives us price plus 4 equals 88 over n minus 2. We're now ready to make a substitution with the price to get our rational equation. 70 over n plus 4 equals 88 over n minus 2. In part 2 of this video, we'll go back and solve both these equations. We solve these simultaneous products by dividing by the factor we're looking for.